Journal Star Sports Writers with the Rivermen Holiday Christmas Party. It's uh, always a festive occasion, and we're going to start off with head coach John Guy Trudell and the Hoagland brothers, Johan, Robin. And coach, uh, you got a lot on your plate during this time of year, but a nice little break coming up as we see this. And how much Christmas shopping did you do today? I got uh, about an hour. I was at the rink, and then... Uh, Hurried up for an hour, didn't find a thing. Went home and uh, told Angie that we're gonna go shopping together. So <laughs> she actually does all the shopping. I just have, I just have to find for her. And you know, I told her it's hard to find somebody that has everything. So it's hard to find anything. So uh, next time I'll just bring her up and she just gets what she wants. So whatever she picks out, we'll get. Uh, growing up as a kid, uh, you you probably have that one awesome gift in your mind that you've never forgotten. What you got? What what is that for you? Uh, well, we don't ha we didn't have enough a lot of money growing up, so we had a certain amount a limit. So we went one year, me and my brother together on one gift. All we wanted was an Atari, and we wanted we wanted uh, an NHL NHL game. So uh, I remember it was little those little hockey players did not look like hockey players, but. We played that game probably eight hours a day for the first two weeks, and we were. It came with Mario Brothers, plus we got the NHL game, so that was our only gift for both of us. But it was the best gift ever. I mean, we played that game, I don't know, three, four years, I think. So it was phenomenal. It was just the best gift I've ever had. Come here, sweetheart. You can come sit by him. Come on, come see him. So what is? Uh what are some of the traditions that uh, the Trudell family has for Christmas? We, uh, we had an outdoors day. So my dad's really big on uh, either we go ice fishing or then we have uh, sledding, uh, ski doing. We do it as a family for a snowmobile kind of ride for a while. Uh, e, right now, my, what my dad does is he has like kind of Olympics. So they have like a big uh, slide that goes all the way to the lake. So whoever slides the farthest. Then they go two hours, whoever catches the biggest fish and stuff like that. So they make it like a, a Winter Olympics kind of thing to, uh, for the whole family. And then uh, we have the biggest table. I think usually we're like, right now they're about 30 at dinner. And they just stay together, family stays together and have a great day. So, And we always uh, did it. Uh, the knee, uh, Christmas Eve was our night where we wake up, open the gifts, and then usually we had meals until 4 or 5 in the morning, go to bed, and then have the whole family over on the 25th. Fantastic. Robin, how about you? Christmas traditions? Were you from a different area? Uh, yeah, just home in Sweden. We have all the relatives at home. You know, our cousins uh, and grandma, grandpa, and uh, yeah, everyone kind of. We're all grown up in the same street, actually, so we're all uh, very close. So we're just like a half a mile radius uh, and all the houses. So we got uh, usually at our place, sometimes at the cousin's place, and uh, it's been like that for all the years. So that's about it. We just uh, get together. And you've got your brother, Johan, just joined the team this week. Uh, is he a good big brother? Yeah, he's, uh, he's, been, uh, he's been my inspiration since I was a kid. Uh, he came to the U.S. pretty early. I played junior hockey here, and then he went to uh, college here. So it's kind of inspiring for me, and uh, I'm glad to be here. It's a dream come true. Best gift as a kid that you got? What, do you remember what it was? Absolutely. Uh, well, I actually have it's a double combo situation, so... Always got, uh, you know, um, pre-used uh, hockey gear and all that stuff when we were growing up. And the first time, uh, I think I was 13 years old when I got my first pair of skates, uh, brand new out of the box. And that was something I never, I, I, I wasn't expecting it. And, you know, I was always, you know, we're getting those uh, from our cousins' skates, our buddies' old skates. So it was all all good. And then my parents actually bought me a like brand new pair of Easton Ultra Lights. And they were the best skates I've ever had. And I had them till they, I couldn't stand on them anymore. So... That's number one, and then second one is uh, together we got an Xbox. Uh, the first one, like a play we were never allowed to play any games or video games or stuff, so Atari? no. <laughs> it was right after Atari came the Xbox, right? <laughs> so uh, yeah, but the Xbox yeah, that was a, that was a nice little thing we got together. Like we didn't get anything else; we just Xbox out Christmas. That was awesome, unbelievable. Uh, there's a lot of things actually. Uh, I really can't tell you what was my favorite, but. Uh, I mean, just spending the time with the family on Christmas would be like 
the best thing, I guess. It's like you want to uh, you want to give a shout out back home to family, wish them a merry Christmas. Yeah, with uh, mom and dad back home and the family around, everyone is having a great time without us this time. Mom is actually coming over here on Sunday, so that would be great for us. And we're really happy about that, for sure. It's Swedish, eh? Yeah. Ja, eh, skulle vilja önska hela familjen, alla kusinerna, Lina, Mattias, Viktor, Agneta, Benga. Ja, nu tappar vi många med mormor, morfar, allihopa. Eh, ha det gött nu, ha det kul utan oss, men vi ses snart. All right, and later on, uh, after dinner here, Mom and Dad are going to hear the boys sing. So we can look forward to that. All right, thanks, guys. Merry Christmas. All right, Eric Levine and Skylar Smutek checking in here. And we're going to talk Christmas with these guys. Uh, Eric, best gift ever as a kid. Yeah, well, first of all, uh, thank you for your appearance as Santa Claus. The kids really uh, enjoyed that, so it's good you do that for the kids here. I'm a legend. Yeah, you are, Dave. Um, you know, it, it was interesting. I grew up in kind of a multi-denominational family household. I had half my side was Jewish and half my side was celebrated Christmas. So uh, we tried to incorporate a lot of um, the, 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 the traditional Jewish um, you know, ceremonies. And, you know, we had the menorah. We had a sports menorah, which was pretty cool. Uh, we, we celebrated Hanukkah. And, you know... I, my favorite memory, um, for sure, was was spinning the dreidel. I, I think one year our power might have gone out in our house, so we lit our menorah and we spun the dreidel, and, um, and it really brought me back to my roots. That's fantastic. Awesome. How about you, Skylar? Uh, yeah, it's tough to say. I was an only child, so Christmases was always pretty fun for me. Um, anything hockey related. I got a pair of gloves one year for sure, and then I, I have to add any to uh, a little bit of a nerd. So anything video game related to, just I'm gonna lump both of those into my one answer there. So, fair enough. We're gonna hear some songs, aren't we? Oh no, are we ever? Can this guy sing? Not even, cl not even close. <laughs> He's no Will Smith. I'll put it that. Shout out to Will Smith, by the way. Maybe the best performance I've ever seen at a Christmas holiday party. We, we so heard. the mean, legend. He's up on the bar, right? Tag him in this Mossy, whatever this is in. Tag Will Smith, but legendary performance. So these guys have a high bar to live up to. But I am really excited to find out. We will see that after dinner here. And uh, thank you guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Dave. Santa Claus. Hey, thanks for having us. Merry Christmas. All right, with uh, Riverman Captain Alec Hageman, first Peoria-born captain of this 38-year-old franchise, and uh, Christmas holiday, I'm sure have some traditions with the Hageman family. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I always, well now that I'm married and I have Emily's side of the family, I always make a trip. We make a trip to Milwaukee and go to the casino there, and the whole family hangs out for their We'll do like Sunday, Monday there, and then we'll move over to their family's place for Tuesday to her uh, cousins, and they have, we have our whole family, like we do a exchange, gift exchange and all that. And then usually for me, I drive back because I, like I still like to do uh, Christmas with my family back home too. So Emily stays up there with her family, and then I'll drive back uh, Christmas Eve night when everything's done there. And so I'll get back at 11 or 12 at night and then do uh, Christmas with my family the next day. And then, yeah, then we're right back on the ice getting the season going again. Yeah, that's the thing with professional hockey players. Uh, you know, you're you're doing the the holiday that everybody else takes days and days to do, and you're still working too. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's uh, during the hockey season it really never stops. I mean, we get maybe a day or two off here, but it always seems like whenever you have a day off, there's always something you're doing. So it's it's kind of just nonstop. But I mean, that's kind of the job we signed up for, and we enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I mean, Christmas is a great time, so I'll do I'll do whatever as long as it's a blast. All right, little Alec Hageman, growing up in central Illinois, little Alec, best Christmas present you ever got. What do you, what do you remember? Uh, I would actually say probably I got a BB gun one time, and I loved it because I used to have a porch with nothing in the backyard, and we would just, I would just set up uh, like tins hanging off from trees and stuff and just shoot them all the time, and it was I think that was probably my most exciting one because I was also young, and it was something really cool that – most kids don't really get until they're maybe a little bit older, but yeah, it was fun. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. All right, jumping in now, we've got Ben Esproba and Cody Dion, and 
I'm not sure that they're a separate entity today. Nice shirt, boys. Thank you. We usually work as one. Yeah, well, I, I can tell. Uh, how do you go to the bathroom with that? Well, it's convenient. There's two urinals in there, so they're perfectly spread apart, and it just works. All right, let's 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 get to it. Best Christmas present you ever got as a kid, Ben? Wow, that's a tough one. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, hockey Christmas presents in there, but I think I got this little red... Uh, this little red car that was, uh, you could just get in and ride around. It was the, I loved it, had it forever. Um, so I think that might have been my favorite. Cody? Uh, I'd say an old, uh, my first hockey stick, a Christian wood hockey stick. I remember uh, waking up on Christmas Day, rolled out of bed, and it was just sitting in the corner of my room. And that was the first stick I ever had. That's fantastic. What what does the uh, Scroba family do Christmas time? Uh, we used to we used to have ham and all the basic you know kind of like another Thanksgiving almost. Um, but the, over the last couple of years, my mom started making lasagna, and we realized that um, everybody loves it and would rather have that. So she's been for the last probably I'd say four or five years she makes a two trays of lasagna and uh, you know corn and every bunch of other sides with it. So. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Miss Oscroba. I love your lasagna also. Well, there's a little story about that one. Uh, so my mom made four pieces of lasagna from, I don't even know when it was, but it's about probably a month ago. And she brought it to me to eat over the weekend. And all of a sudden, Cody ate three pieces of the four and he saved me one piece of lasagna. Well, that's sure. It was nice, yeah. Yeah, I, on my part, it wasn't so much on his part, but yeah, so that's the, that's the story behind the lasagna. Shame on you. It was worth it. It was totally worth it. How about you in the, in the Dion family? Uh, we usually, I'll take that. Uh, we usually uh, just um, have dinner, go to my grandma's house, uh, get around, watch a little TV, some football maybe. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. It's been so long, but I recall getting made fun of a lot. They like to roast me. Yeah, I get picked on. You? Yeah. By who? The giant? The, the clan. Yeah, the Dion clan. They make uh, fun of me. <laughs> I, I find that hard to believe. <laughs> yeah, it happens though. So yeah, we just have a nice turkey and uh, get together. It's pretty fun after uh, we're all full. A little dessert and then play a board game with each other. It's pretty fun. Beautiful. Merry Christmas, boys. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. I think you need to try a game with one of those. You count as one person then, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm 18. Uh, I'll show your ID on the camera. I just zoom in on the, yeah. Which one? Right One and only Mitch Pierce or Six Pierce. Look, if you had one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted. Yeah, yeah. One moment. Would you capture it? Or just let it slip? Look. That's all I got. I mean, you're going to tell me when you want to give me the perfect way. You just go. And you
everybody else will be singing All I Want for Christmas, wow. Mariah Carey. <laughs> I don't want a lot for Christmas, there is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true, cause all I want for Christmas And we begged her not to go. But not to go! Know, she forgot the medication. Make some noise, go bears! Yeah! Go bears! Alright, guys, so those are our two teams. We've got Dion's team, Oscrova's team, the Naughty Elves, and the uh, Santa Sexy Helpers. Alright, uh, round of applause, Santa Sexy Helpers. Here we go, Naughty Elves.